What's going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be breaking down this beat i made i don't really know how to describe it other than it's kind of a dark vibe i really don't know what kind of artist i'd hear on this but if you got any ideas let me know in the comments down below almost all the sounds you'll hear in this are from my hypnosis analog lab bank you can get that on drumify.com that'll be the first link in the description i also just recently dropped my mystify guitar collection volume one before we hop into it i'm just going to play you a few snippets from that So if you want to get those, the link is down in the description. All right, so we're over in Ableton now. The first thing from Hypnosis I pulled up was this key called Outside. I started by playing these chords. If I just put these back into root notes, the chords are actually really simple. It just starts on an E minor and then it goes to D sharp diminished, then F sharp diminished, and then F sharp diminished again. The last two chords only sound different because I changed the voicings around. Once I had those chords, I just rendered it out and then I reversed it. In Ableton, there's a really easy way to do that whilst keeping the chords in the right order. All you want to do is get it in an audio clip and then everywhere that there's a chord change, you want to click and press Control E. And then you want to do that for all of them. And then you just highlight them all and you just press R and then you got them all reversed and in the right order. Without the effects, this is what the chord sounded like reversed. After I added effects, this is what it turned into. So that sounds a lot more spacey. The effects I had on that started with an RC20 on this preset from Clay's Lovecraft. Next up, I pulled up Portal and I got this Laser Spikes preset from Steven's Portal Bank. I just made sure I turned it down a bit so that you could still hear the dry signal. Next up, I had the CLA-2A compressor. I just used this to make the reverse a bit smoother so it wasn't getting too loud towards the end of the note. Next up, I just had this EQ cutting out some of the lows and some of the highs. And to finish off, I just had this filter which I automated the frequency to go up and down with each note. Now that I had the chords, I pulled up another key from Hypnosis. It's just called Let Go. This is what I had that playing without any effects. For effects on that, I started with half time on quarter notes just with the mix turned down. Next up, I had an EQ cutting out the lows. Then I had this chorus on the deep chorus preset just with the mix turned down a little bit. After that, I had another EQ just cutting out some harshness. Then I had a filter cutting out some of the highs to put it a bit more in the background. Then I had portal again on the mystery preset from Steven's Asteroids portal bank. Once again, I turned the wet dry sound so that you could still hear the dry signal. And then to finish it off, I just had RC20 on the vinyl three preset just with the noise turned off. With the effects, this is what that sounds like. <laughs> Now together with the chords, this is what we had so far. So next up I added this string sound from Hypnosis, it's called Look Sad. This is what I had that playing. After that, I just rendered it out and added some more effects. The first thing I put was Portal on this rendered Chaos preset from Steven's Illusion Bank. I had the wet dry turned all the way up, so all you're hearing is the wet signal. Next up, I just had half time on the quarter note setting with the mix turned down. And then to finish it off, I just had an EQ cutting out the highs and the lows. So after that, I actually rendered it out again because that Portal preset in particular actually does something different every single time you play it, which can be a really cool effect, but I wanted to make sure I got the same thing every time. This is the particular repeat that I chose. 
I actually stacked a couple more effects on that. That was just an EQ making the sound a little bit softer and then also a filter cutting out the highs to put it a bit more in the background. Next up, I wanted to add a bass, so I got this hostile preset from Hypnosis. I just had this following the root notes of the chords. All right, so that was it for the melodic parts of the sample. Altogether, this is what we had. Alright, so before I exported it, I just wanted to add some perks and textures. So I just chopped up and layered these only one percussion loops. For effects on that, I had the same thing on all of them. I just started with this RC20 on the Drum Break 2 preset, and then I also just had this filter to cut out some of the highs to put it a bit more in the background. Altogether, this was the whole sample. Alright, so now we're over in FL where I made the drums. First thing I did as always was arrange the stems. This time I actually did change one thing with the sample. I actually went into the percussion part and I just made it half speed so that instead of the snare being on two and four, it was on three. After I had that, I just started with this simple snare pattern. Next up, I had this hi hat pattern. Next up, I added this rim. Then I added another snare, just playing a few accents and also a few rolls. After that, I added this perk. So this beat actually has two basses going most of the time, which is a bit weird, but the first one's a pluck and the second one's more of a sub bass. This is what the pluck was playing. Moving on to the other bass now, this one played a really similar pattern and just had some slides in there. After that I just put in this kick. So that one mostly plays at the same time as the sub bass. After that, the final part was just this open hat.
I assess the whole beat. After that, all I did was arrange and mix it and add some transitions. Remember, if you like the sounds you heard while I was making the loop, those are all available in my Hypnosis Analog Lab Bank. Also, if you want some guitar loops made by me, the first volume of my Mystify guitar collection is also available. You can get both of those on Drumify. That'll be the first links in the description. Make sure to follow me and the rest of the guys on our socials. All the links to that are down below. Let me know what you want to see me break down next. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm just going to let the beat play out now.